Prince Andrew's car crash interview with the BBC Newsnight host has inspired a Hollywood film called Scoop, as you mentioned. Let's take a look. The story won't be him. It'll be us. Your Royal Highness. Tomorrow night, in an unprecedented interview, we will hear from the Duke himself. You know, I thought that all went very well. All across the world, every paper, on every news channel, this is the story. Go away! This is only going to get bigger. This interview, does it matter? Yeah, it matters. Josh, what can we expect from Scoop? Is it going to be as gripping as that interview? Um, it's actually going to be even more gripping than the interview. I have seen the film. Um, I'm not actually allowed to say too much about it because the embargo for reviews is not quite up just yet. However, I was at the world premiere tonight in London where the stars of the film uh, walked the red carpet. We saw Gillian Anderson. She plays um, Emily Maitlis in this. We've got Billy Piper from Doctor Who fame. She plays uh, Sam McAllister, who is the esteemed producer who secured this bombshell interview for BBC Newsnight. We also saw Keely Hawes, who plays Amanda Thirsk, uh, Prince Andrew's private secretary at the time. Um, and we also saw Rufus Sewell, who plays Prince Andrew in this movie as well. And an absolutely, I say this with, and I really mean these words, an absolute bombshell portrayal of Prince Andrew. Th this film, it is a real nail biter. I can't say too much about it, but what I can say is that there are the approaches that it takes with this, it's quite surprising. It's not necessarily a straightforward approach that you would expect from this film, um, but the tone is absolutely brilliant. It, it's We're reliving it in retrospect, which kind of gives us a whole different angle to it that we may or may not have realized. And we realize also just how shocking it is another time around, the fact that it's being played by such brilliant, talented actors. Um, but it also kind of take get you get the impression of of really what Prince Andrew was thinking, and we get an in a real insight into his personality. Yes, parts of this film are fictionalized, so of course it's not meant to be entirely accurate. It is dramatized. Uh, they do take artistic licenses, but we're seeing two sides of the institution. We're, we're getting an insight into the BBC programme that secured this interview and the amazing story of the producer, Sam McAllister, who secured that interview. But we're also getting an insight into the institution, the way in which they look, uh, the way in which they think, the way in which they've interacted with the media, the kind of, again, thinking comm strategy. And we're reliving, as, you, as we just saw in the trailer, the fact that Prince Andrew, after that interview, he was absolutely delighted with it he says oh it all went very well Sam McAllister <laughs> herself has has recounted stories about how straight after the interview how she spoke to Prince Andrew's equerry and the equerry said oh wasn't he wonderful and Sam mm -hmm. McAllister replied with all sincerity going yes he was um of course in a completely different way because he was wonderful in another way it was a compelling piece of television and this is without giving anything away this is an absolute Absolutely compelling, nail biting, but also an incredibly surprising movie. But again, a movie which might not be necessarily uh, the best movie to be released for the royal family at this time, mm. given the crisis that they're facing. However, I would say this doesn't exactly reveal anything more about Prince Andrew that we didn't know before. There's no entirely bombshell revelations to take from this. But what we do see is an incredible portrayal, incredible actors telling a side of the story that we might not realize, gaining a new appreciation for the work that went into that interview, whilst also reliving just the absurdity of the things that were said in that interview from the no sweat to the pizza oh. express and booking from the unbecoming bombshell after bombshell after bombshell interview that made front page news 
across not even just the UK, but across the world. Well, I'm looking forward to it. It was one of the most compelling interviews of all time. Finally, Josh Rom, we did touch on this, but I'd just love to get a bit, bit more of your thoughts. While the royal family are in this vulnerable position with the health battles of King Charles and Princess Catherine, we've seen Meghan Markle being quite busy promoting her new luxury lifestyle brand. Some are saying she's trying to reinvent herself as a version of Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, can you talk to us about what Meghan Markle's been up to with her new brand and what she's planning on selling? So we've heard rumblings of a lifestyle brand relaunch. Of course, she was famous before she married Prince Harry for the TIG back in the day. Um, and I remember watching, actually, I remember watching clips of Meghan Markle on some of the US uh, talk shows, the morning talk shows, where she used to cook up meals from, from her website. Um, I think this could be a really good thing for Megan, actually, because okay. I just hope that she doesn't have any subliminal messages where she trashes the royal family ever in subtle ways. That's what I'm not hoping for, because the thing is, I think we all want, especially in the UK, we just want, if not Meghan and Harry to disappear, we just want them to be happy, to stop trashing the institution again and again and again. So if actually, if this is going to make Meghan happy, if this is if this is going to be a way for them to earn money, um, to pay for the upkeep of their own security out in the States, and if they do not trash the royal family at all in this, I think, well, fair play to you, Megan. You're just doing you. You're 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 going out there and making a living for yourself away from the royal family. That's great. Maybe involve Prince Harry. Maybe give us uh, insight into what you what you like away from from the spotlights to what you guys actually what your lives are actually like away from the cameras, aside from just trashing the royal family. I think this could be a good thing, but the timing of it. I think suggests a number of things because of course um i think it suggests either two things because megan and megan and harry they're reportedly to be out of the royal family when i say out as in when if you're out of that family you know you're out you've been cut off so we're unsure currently of uh megan and harry's situation when it comes to communications with um his father the king and also prince william and the princess of wales especially with prince william um it's very it's reported that the brothers still very much have a strained relationship that's what my sources are also telling me um that their relationship is still incredibly is strained and whilst the king is communicating more with prince harry the same cannot be said for prince william so one they either could have launched this to take advantage of the royals being in, in this crisis state that they are and take advantage of that and 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 explore that lifestyle option explore uh, that brand option whilst the royals are facing this or this could suggest that actually they always plan to launch it at this time, but it's incredibly bad timing because they're not in communication with the family much at all. They really mm -hmm. don't know what's going on. So they launch this at an awkward time for the family. So I think those are the two options that we see from this brand, but this could be a good thing for Meghan Markle. And hopefully this could mean that the Sussexes might go down a more positive direction. Because let's be honest, that's I, I know we 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 criticize them and I think criticize them fairly for their actions, specifically when it relates to the royal family. But actually, we all just want the best for them. They are humans at the end of the day, just trying to live their lives. And we all want the best for them. We want them to find peace. So hopefully this and, and also unlike Netflix, unlike Spotify, this isn't this is an area in which Meghan Markle has that experience. She's already done this to reasonable success, arguably a bit more successful than her actual acting career. So actually, mm. this could be a better move for Meghan, moving down a more positive route. Josh Rom, brilliant to speak with you. Thank you so much for being so generous with your time, as always. We'll speak to you next week.